Hi, champions. It's Coach Danette, and this devotional is inspired by the book of Peter. You're familiar with the 12 disciples on your journey with Christ, I'm sure. Whether so or not, today we are encouraged by Peter, who was one of the 12 disciples of Jesus, known as the Rock. He was a leader, and he spent his time serving by ministering to and encouraging the Gentiles in their suffering. Similar to today, some of us are suffering, some of us are struggling, some of us are losing loved ones through illness and through COVID and through just strife and just general tribulation. But then there's others of us who are receiving an abundance of blessings because we pivoted into such a great year based on just the ability to do better for whatever reason some struggle and some are doing better. But Peter encourages us and shares with us that each one of us, no matter what we're going through, we've received gifts. And whatever gifts you have, you are to use those gifts to minister to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Now, the grace that is being spoken of, of receiving gifts is the same grace of how we are to minister those gifts. And it indicates that we have received in order to give. We don't earn this grace. We don't earn these gifts. But with the same grace that we earn and receive, we should use the same grace to give. Now, a spiritual gift is a supernatural bestowing of a special ability. And we are to use that to serve the body of Christ. So as you receive gifts this season and this new year, any season, actually, whatever those gifts might be, it could be money or wisdom, knowledge or talent, do remember to give, to love, and to serve. Now, some of you may be saying, I can't, I can't give. I don't have anything to give. I'm not working. And this may be true, but this may be a time for you to gain wisdom, to gain knowledge of the gifts that God has placed in you. You may be on a hiatus to sit under his feet, to learn, to soak up that which he is trying to share with you that he has called you to for his purpose. Proverbs 24 verses three and four reads that by wisdom, a house is built and through understanding it is established and through knowledge, its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. So through Jesus, we all belong to God's family as his children. And in this family, we receive gifts and we receive hope that we can give hope. We receive mercy that we can give mercy. And day by day, we receive a deeper faith, which is the best part. So consider all these things in honor and be blessed on your journey and we will continue to pray blessings for you and your family, not only today, but tomorrow and the days to come. So happy new year, champions. I hope you have a wonderful year. I love you. I miss you. And I can't wait to see you again.